Hi there, and welcome to JCB Tools. My name is Adrian, and today we're going to look at this 21DH1300, or in layman's terms, a 1300 watt demolition hammer. So I'll open the box, lay the contents on the table, and you can see exactly what you get. So I've removed the outer sleeve, and as you can see, it comes in this great JCB branded transport and storage case. So I'll just flip it round, pop the two catches, and open the box. And as you can see, it's all fitted in there neatly. So I've laid the contents out on the table, and obviously, fully assembled, we have the demolition hammer itself. With its power cord, second thing that comes with it, the two types of chisel, the pointy chisel and the wide chisel, and obviously they're the standard SDS style connections. Okay, we have the spanner, we have the lubricant, and then we have the user manual. Now I strongly recommend that you read the user manual thoroughly before use, and also you will find in the manual is a spare set of brushes for the unit. In the user manual there is a section on PPE, the personal protective equipment you should wear. So obviously it covers hearing protection, safety glasses, gloves, all that sort of thing. So again, read that safety manual and at least you'll be safe while using your JCB tool. So just a little point about the connection system. The chisels and the machine itself use the SDS Max system. So they're standard across the board. So first of all, let's go through a couple of the features on this unit. So it does have the front handle here, which can be orientated for left-handers or right-handers. So I can tighten it up, put it for a left or right-hander, simply by swiveling it round and tighten it back up again. If I just loosen it off, I'll put it in the vertical position for now, for demonstration purposes. Okay, so this would be in the straight plane, but as you saw, I can have it here or I can have it here, depending on where I'm working and what feels most comfortable for me. So it does also incorporate a trigger lock system. So if I pull the trigger and push the button, the trigger will stay on. That saves me having to hold the button on for long periods of time while I'm chiseling. To release it, to switch the machine off, pull the trigger, let go, and it will then switch off. So it has a trigger lock. Okay, so another feature on this is the anti-vibration handle. You'll see these two rubber bellows here. So there is a degree of protection between the vibrating part and your hand with this machine. So to fit the chisel, it's really simple. First thing we do, make sure that the end of the chisel is clean, free from any debris, dust or dirt, and then lubricate the end. Then we simply pull back on this sleeve, fit the chisel, release the sleeve. Very important here to make sure that it can't come out again. Now it is designed to slide out, but only to a certain point. So we know that's properly retained. So another function on this machine is the ability to rotate the chisel into the correct angle for you to work on. So I'll show you that. You'll see this sleeve here. If I pull it forward, I can then rotate the chisel, and lock the sleeve back. So I can turn the chisel by releasing this lower collar and it'll pop back into position and that allows me to turn the chisel into the most comfortable position for me and again that would be the normal sort of position okay so you may wonder what the spanner was for so there's an inspection hatch here now i'll well i will open it to show you what's in there typically you won't need to open this but this is a point of maintenance so if i take it off you can see the mechanism that provides the oscillation of the chisel in here and as you can see it's full of grease so once a year this would need to be checked cleaned and repacked with grease so that said we recommend that you take it to an authorized dealer for this i'll just screw it back on and refit the cap okay now obviously another thing you're going to need to do is to keep the machine clean so another thing on the maintenance uh you need to keep the airways or these air ventilation holes clean as well as the head unit itself. Um, don't poke anything in through the holes. A simple brush like a toothbrush if it gets clogged up, you can blow it with compressed air but at no more than three bar. But again, during an annual service, it would have a thorough clean. So again, you will have noticed that the machine did come with a spare set of brushes. So the brushes compartment is located in the bottom here. There are four screws to remove the cover and it's fairly obvious how to change them. Although in the manual, we do recommend that you take it to an authorized dealer to change brushes. 
So just the final part of the package, if I remove the main chisel, which is the flat chisel, I can put in the pointy chisel. I can just rotate it. Hold on. There we go, in. Make sure it doesn't come out. And of course, this chisel isn't prone to needing the correct orientation like you would need with a flat chisel. Just a little safety tip, um, before using any electrical appliance, not just this, just ensure that there's no damage to your power cord or the unit itself. Make sure that there's no nicks or cuts, because it can happen quite easily in a stone building environment, that sort of thing. And make sure that your plug is in good order as well. We're plugged in and we're ready to go. Again, unless there's pressure on the point downwards, it won't actually hammer. So I've just pulled that forward to stop it making a noise. So one other little tip, when you've finished or change your chisels, just make sure that they're thoroughly cleaned. Use a bit of the advanced lubricant on them and store them away, ready for the next use. Well, I do hope you found this demonstration useful. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit jcbtools.co.uk. I've been Adrian and thank you for watching.